This here is my Remington 700, and I got a uh, Karsten Kydex adjustable cheek rest, and uh, I'm going to put it on. So I'm going to show you how. Okay, so before you start cutting your gun all apart, um, Karsten provides uh, really good instructions on how to line everything up correctly and uh, get it so you don't screw up. And uh, just as a backup, I got Sniper Central's um, version of the installation for the cheek piece here. So first of all, um, I have to make sure that my bolt here isn't going to uh, hit the cheek piece as I'm cycling rounds. So I have mine lined up right about here. So I know that that's not a problem right now. Um, also another thing is, is when you're taking out the bolt, um, that's another thing you have to watch for because if you're going to take out the bolt it's going to hit the cheek piece and you don't want that but I guess if you do need it close enough you can lower your cheek piece every time you take out the bolt but I think that's just uh, too much work so I'm moving mine a bit back and uh, it works fine for my cheek weld alright so the next step is to uh, put your uh, little dots on the uh, stock in order to find out where you're going to drill and uh, the way I did that is I put my cheek piece on and I just found a spot that I liked and then uh, I put temporary dots on there and uh, once I had those took off the stock or the uh, cheek rest and then I measured from a crease at the top of the stock down to where I liked it on the cheek piece and then I uh, measured how far away on both sides uh, from the back end of the stock, not including the um, recoil pad, uh, that these were away from the end of the stock on both sides. And I got it to uh, be pretty much exact. So the next step is to drill holes. So I'm going to take my bipod off because uh, it'll lay flatter that way. In case you don't know how to put on or take off a bipod, it's pretty simple. like that. I'm going to take my bolt out and we're ready to cut. Oh and by the way it's a quarter inch drill bit that you're using. hollow which is good makes it nice and easy So far so good, a little bit of rubber stuck in there, it's a rubber over mold uh, stock, but we'll do the other side now. Being a hollow stock makes it a lot easier because then you don't have uh, as much trouble lining it up as it's going all the way through. I 
about this a little better. Okay, so we'll see you uh, in a bit. All right, now that I have my drills cut, or my holes cut, I'm gonna attempt to put it all into place. One second. All right. I'll just come back once I'm done doing this. This is taking a while. All right. So finally, I got it to go through I just drew I just redrilled the holes a little bit flip it on over Can attach these little knobbies Just let it pull the rest of the threads through. Hoping that it is. Carsten cheek piece on my 700. Here's the finished product. Lots of bolt clearance, comes out without a problem. Looks pretty good too.